Hey, everybody. Uh, the funny thing is when you're setting up these videos, they start before you get the chance to adjust anything. So I decided to do a video uh, message to you today instead of typing this all out. It gives me a chance to share a little bit more than it takes the time to type it and you to read it. So thank you for clicking on the link in the email and watching this wonderful video. Uh, this is the, the going to take place of the weekly WCRT email this week. Want to just say we have a great and phenomenal meeting coming up this Thursday night, welcoming everybody back in person. Um, we've been having in person meetings, but want more of you to come back. Uh, we need to reopen things. Even JB says we're on track to reopen, and you know how slow he is. He was one of the last to reopen. And if you look at any numbers, you know that Illinois is falling way behind every other state as far as open capacity um, and just and unemployment numbers, actually. This video is about to say, come on out. We're going to talk about private lending, uh, hard money lending. We're going to get our networking back on. We're going to get things moving in the right direction. So this Thursday, we have the WCRT main event the usual location at the Waterford Banquet Center in Elmhurst, Illinois, located there with the Clarion Inn. Same time, same place. We're going to be doing it just the same. I want everybody to come back out. Okay. Also want to just give a quick tidbit of knowledge about what is happening uh, financially right now between the push for minimum wage increases, uh, where if you're paying your employees more, you have to raise the price of your product. Right? Between that between the limited supply of things because we weren't open to capacity. We've seen the spike in lumber prices for that reason. Uh, we also saw a massive rush on uh, chips that run electronics because everybody's working remotely. So we distributed tablets and laptops, right? And people were at home and buying more goods uh, like appliances. They were upgrading their appliances, which need chips to run them. And so that is what's, we can't, get the chips to build the appliances to build these things and so that's why you're seeing a shortage of them it's the chips that control it and now you have a government that is spending money we don't have so they're printing money now if you think about it, if you've ever watched an episode of pawn stars or anything like that you know that if things are widely available they lose value right so if i have one poster signed by uh, the actor in that movie and it's authenticated, it's worth money. If I have thousands of them, it's worth less money. The same goes for the dollar bill. If I have a limited supply in the market, they're worth X amount. But if we throw more in there, suddenly they find more. What the value of the dollar was is now less. Right? So things I was buying in February, not on sale, have gone up a ridiculous amount, 30% in some cases, because we're devaluing the market. Inflation is going to hit. And traditionally throughout history, the Democratic Party, and I'm not trying to play political games here, but they do not know how to handle inflation. The spending bill that was released under FDR, the alphabet soup, the you know, great dealer, New Deal, still only spent less than 16, excuse me, less than 6% of GDP. The spending bills that Biden has put forth are right around 30%. So you can see the massive spending is going to cause massive inflation. Uh, and if you remember right, it was under Carter where the massive inflation really uh, stagnated our economy. And I'm hopeful we won't get there, but we need a plan for it. So come on out. Let's talk about private money hard money and a discussion about planning for the cost of goods and the cost of things to skyrocket uh, over the next year, especially as we see the foreclosure crisis coming. Um, there's a great article on Cranes today uh, about the pending foreclosures and how it's going to get hit Chicago even worse uh, than the rest of the country. So look forward to seeing you on Thursday night, May 6th. Thank you for clicking the video link and stay tuned for more. Until then, I'm Ryan and keep it real, estate. Take care.